Hi, I'm Melanie from Nova Scotia, Canada, and this is Adventures in Grocerland. Many of my videos uh, share some extreme challenges that I have completed to show that you can indeed eat well on a small budget. But the reality is I genuinely believe that you do not need to be extreme to be frugal. Frugality um, and ways to save money are just many small, consistent strategies or, or habits that you have just long term. I'm going to share my top five tips about how to stretch your grocery uh, budget and to get more money for your or more groceries for your money. Number one is meal planning. Meal plan from your existing pantry and also from the weekly sales flyers. So take a look at what you have um, in the freezer, uh, in your cupboards, what could make a good meal and what ingredient gaps do you need to fill with your weekly budget to make the meal happen. Also front page, back page of those weekly flyers, they are going to give you the absolute best deals. That doesn't mean that there's not hidden gems in the middle of the flyer, but definitely at least you want to take a look at the front page and the back page. So if you're not sure what I mean, weekly sales flyers. Uh, if you don't get paper copies, there are lots of apps where you can go um, and look at the weekly flyers digitally. My favorite one is the Flip app, F-L-I-P-P. Um, I like that one and I can set it so that it shows the, uh, I set my postal code and it shows the flyers that are just local to me. So that works really great for me. That is your number one key to saving money on groceries. Number two, use your grocery budget to buy items on sale. Your best resource is your pantry. You want to buy items that are on sale to stock the pantry for future use because every single penny that you save now is just money saved that you're not spending in the future. So when those items that you regularly use go on sale, pick up an extra one or two and put them in the pantry. Number three, minimize food waste. There's lots of different ways that you can waste food. Uh, when you cook a meal, if there are leftovers and you put it in the fridge and you don't get back to them and they go bad and you get rid of them, food waste. Uh, if you buy an ingredient that you need for one recipe and you only use a portion of the ingredient and it's perishable, you don't get back to it and it goes uh, bad, that's food waste. Uh, you buy a bulk bag of fruit because you love whatever it is, apples, oranges, pears, um, or like bulk berries, but you don't eat them all before they spoil. Food waste. Um, bottles, so things like ketchup, Miracle Whip, or mayonnaise, um, salad dressings. If you don't use the last bits that are in the bottle, again, food waste. So Think of strategies, so realistically think, how do you in your household minimize food waste? And if it is you get tired of eating leftovers and that's why they sit in the fridge and they go bad, freeze them for future meals. Maybe you freeze smaller portions of them and they're future lunches that you take with you. Um, that's a very, very easy way to save it or cook smaller quantities. If you find that you're overcooking because you used to have um, a big family, lots of kids at home, now you're empty nesters, it's just two people, sometimes you're still cooking the same quantities that you were cooking before for the big family. Work really hard at downsizing the portions that you're cooking and that will help to minimize some of that food waste. Um, if you are opening up something and you are only using a portion of it for the recipe that you are creating, um, save it, freeze it dehydrate it. So if it's something like um, spinach, you can dehydrate spinach and grind it up. You can freeze spinach to use later in smoothies or any cooked food. You can freeze pretty much anything. You can dehydrate so many things. There are lots of ways to save smaller portions for future uses, and that will help you um, minimize that waste. Number four, inventory your pantry. If you don't know what you have, you don't know what you need to buy or replace. 
keep a running list um, as you're getting low on an item so that you can watch the flyers for when that item comes on sale so that you can restock it before you need it in a recipe, it's not on sale, and then all of a sudden you're running out to buy it and you're buying it at full price. Buying all of the items in your pantry on sale is ideal, um, but just being aware of what is in your pantry is also really, really key uh, to ensuring that you're buying items um, when they're on sale instead of at full price. I like to keep uh, two separate grocery lists, um, a grocery list of items that are on sale in the flyers that I'd like to have, and then a separate list of items that I'm getting low on uh, so that I can watch the flyers and pick them up before I'm totally out. Number five, pack your lunch. And this also applies to other items that you might be wanting to purchase when you are out and about. So doesn't necessarily or isn't exclusive um, to people who are working outside the home and taking a lunch. This also applies to things like going through the drive through uh, when you're in town. Make it at home and make it much cheaper. Uh, I think that eating out for lunch is a huge, huge expense. I'm not saying never eat out. Uh, never treat yourself. But if you're doing it every day, you can save a lot of money if you're making the meals at home and bringing them with you. Um, a trick that I like to do is no matter what, when I get in my vehicle, I make sure there is a full water bottle uh, because what I used to find is I would get thirsty and not necessarily for a coffee. I'd just be thirsty in town while I was running errands. And if I didn't have anything to drink, um, that's when I was wasting money and I would just go through a drive through and, and buy something to drink or go to the store and buy something to drink. So that was a really huge money saver for me. Um, same thing, make your coffee, take it with you. I'm not saying never buy a coffee, but if this is something that you do on a regular basis, um, even cutting in half how much you buy out uh, will have a huge impact on your budget. 